There are so many people, including myself, you know, all of us, our lives depend on the internet. Are we talking about the importance of like the, the meme ban that's been going around? Article 13, which not enough creators know about. Today is Article 13, AKA the reason why those of you watching in Europe right now might in the very near future not be able to watch me among many other things. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a fan theory video and next week was gonna be a conspiracy theory video. But those got pushed back to the bottom of my notebook because of Article 13. So today's video is going to be a commission video about Article 13 slash a YouTube algorithm conspiracy theory that makes a lot of sense. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button along with the bell notifications with the like button and let's get started. The EUCD, also known as the European Union Copyright Directive, that passed in the European Union to help protect and regulate copyright holders. The EUCD was introduced by the European Parliament Committee of Legal Affairs. As of early September 2018, Article 13 was approved by 438 members, 226 voted against Article 13, and 39 are still upstanding. Now the last step is to go through the trilogue in early January 2019. The vote is not final until the end of January. This law is passed, each country a part of the EU have to support the directive and enforce the law. What does it say about YouTube and other platforms? Lock down on all content. Well, copyright content, and that's a law. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, iFunny, Chive, TikTok, basically all social media platforms could be sued for content that has some form of copyright and fragment inside the videos or pictures. So you know how some creators have, even my videos have it, clips of movies and pictures to help tell the story of what you're saying. No, oh, look at that doggo. And the kids learning on Wikipedia. What about sharing the memes? You like that, hey? Well, fuck you then. Because we're about to replace the internet with a brand new experience. The Filternet. To help prove a point, to help you get your point across. Well, the platform could be sued for having those types of videos or pictures on there. Right now, these platforms are protected by Safe Harbor. This is where the platform will not get sued for the copyright and fragments or copyright in general. The person who posted the video or the picture will get notified with an email saying, You've got mail. Your content has some sort of copyright problems with it. And the actual creator of that content could have you take it off completely or they could say, You know what? I'm just going to leave this here and we'll make money off of it will split the benefits or we, they just get 100% of the monetization Money! and you get none of it. It's really not a bad thing. Now if Article 13 passes in January, there'll be none of that. It's completely shut down. Your video, pictures, your memes are gone. You need full 100% ownership of that content and you have to prove it somehow. So if you're part of the EU, that type of content is going to be blocked. So YouTube will have to block any type of videos going to the EU or leaving the EU. So that's a lot of jobs for content creators that are done. So people that are self-employed with YouTube or with some type of social media won't have a job anymore. Basically the news outlets will control the media and social media platforms. If you really think about it, that's kind of scary. Someone controlling everything. All the news outlets going in and out. Things can be kept more secretive from the world. Would you want that? Bearing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same things that are true without checking facts first. This is extremely dangerous. I really enjoy making my videos, and this was going to affect me a lot. My videos include some pictures, they include some movie clips. I'm probably going to have to find another way to make my content. This article will affect small creators like me big time. The United States or any country that's not involved in the EU will not be affected yet. Each country has their own copyright laws. We have our fair use and that helps us a lot. But in the near future, Article 13 could and may be picked up by more countries. Enough countries to a point where everybody has to comply and be under the same law. Now how does this fit in the YouTube algorithm? I believe this changed the YouTube algorithm big time. Like before the voting took place, they were just thinking ahead and they're trying to make the transition easier for other people. Look at Emma Chamberlain for example. Her first viral video was back in July of 2017. And she don't really use any type of copyright material at all. Maybe some music here or there, but she gets like YouTube free stock music or free, or she probably pays for her music. But she doesn't use pictures or clips or videos that much. She just 
edits. And her editing style is pretty dope. Like, I enjoy her content. Now, I'm probably gonna say this last name wrong. Joanna Zita? I believe that's it. A Canadian YouTuber. Her channel is also grown super fast in three months. And she sits in front of the camera like a normal YouTuber back in the day when YouTube first started and just makes jokes and talks to the camera. Basically, what I'm doing right now. I honestly do believe that they changed the YouTube algorithm to fit Article 13 standards so everything will be easier when Article 13 takes over the internet. YouTube doesn't have the technology to monitor every video that has copyright material on it to stop it from making it to the platform. So they're making do what they can. They're trying to help us, so let's help them out. They don't want this as much as we do. Does that make sense? Please help spread the word about Article 13. A lot of people don't know about this, so tweet it, Facebook it, share it any way you can. Hashtag save your internet. I'll link down in the description a website you can go to if you are in the EU to locate your local MPS. And send them messages and help them understand how Article 13 is actually a bad thing for people. Hopefully you can change their mind. Hopefully I change your mind. This whole video was one big old mess. I apologize. But, until the next video, peace guys.